Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterboy here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video is another specialist in-depth video where I go in-depth on different specialists throughout the multiplayer and Block Ops 4, let you guys know what different types of abilities each specialist has, go over the pros and cons of each of them, as well as let you guys know when you guys can use them in the multiplayer, as well as how many points you are going to be collecting each time you use one of the equipment for the specialist. Now, in today's video, we're going over Torque. Torque is a entry denial specialist. He <laughs> uses his razor wire and barricades to block off entrances or funnel people into certain areas where you or the team can get some really massive kills and get a lot of points in the process. So let's go in depth on Torque specialist abilities and see if this specialist is right for you when the game is released. So Torque's first specialist ability is going to be the Razor Wire. Now this is barbed wire that you can place in the map. This will either slow down enemy progress as they're making their way through different areas of the map or actually deny the entry entirely because the enemy team does not want to frustrate themselves by going through this because the barbed wire actually slows down progress when you're actually walking through it um, if you're on the enemy team and you're going through somebody else's barbed wire. Now the Razor Wire is really good in different objective-based game modes. Control, Domination, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, just a few that I can name off real quick that is really good by either denying people access to different routes into different objectives, slowing the enemy down so you're able to at least be notified when they're coming through a certain point and being able to kill them, or be able to actually close an area off and forget about it and be able to put your focus someplace else because you're actually denying one entrance into an objective. Now let's talk about how many points you're going to be collecting while Razor Wire is in use, as well as the cooldown timers that you're going to have to be dealing with. With. Now the first cooldown time you're going to be dealing with is the very start of the match, which is 30 seconds. So hopefully you can wait 30 seconds before denying an entrance to the enemy team. But this is the shortest cooldown time you're going to have while using Torque, um, because once you use the barbed wire, the razor wire, you're going to have a 70 second timer before you can use it again. Now you can place up to two razor wires in a certain area before if you use a third one, it's going to destroy one of the razor wires. So just be careful what entrances you want to block off and deny entry to the enemy team, because if you use more than two Two, you are going to have one of them destroyed and you might uh, you might not want that barbed wire destroyed now for points you're gonna be collecting 25 points for every step an enemy player takes through your barbed wire so it's not unnatural if you have a enemy player that is just bound and determined to make it to the other side of your razor wire um, it's not unnatural to collect up to 100 to 150 points just because he wants to make it through that razor wire and every step he takes is a 25 point to you so it's very quick to actually build this up and get up to your score Four streaks. Now, for any assists, for any enemy player that's in the barbed wire and gets killed by your teammates, you're going to get collecting 50 points. So not only are you getting the assist for every step that he is taking those points, you are going to get 50 points for the assist kill. Now, if you kill an enemy player while they're in your barbed wire, not only are you getting you know the movement um, points, the 25 points, but you're getting an extra 25 points for the kill. So it can stack up pretty fast, especially for a lot of these enemy players that are just bound and determined to make it through. It. Um, and so it's a great way to slow enemy down as well as collecting a lot of points to get up to your score streak. Now let's talk about Torque's signature ability, which is the Barricade. Now this is a fortification that you can place in the game that will not only deny entrance to the enemy team, but as well as protect you from enemy fire. Because it's a fortification you can hide behind and shoot around, it is a great way to be able to hold back the enemy team because you have this protection. But not only is it protecting you, it's also releasing microwaves that we've also seen in other Black Ops games. Now not only does the Barricade deal damage to enemy players, but it will also slow down their movement. So you'll find several times where you might have some really headstrong enemy players that are wanting to push through the barricade and get to an objective but sometimes will be slowed down and eventually killed because they're trying to push through it and they're getting a lot of damage dealt to them so you will have your barricade doing a lot of the damage dealing for you and being able to protect a certain area and you'll be able to forget about it um, until your barricade goes down now for the point and the cooldown timer, your cooldown timer is going to be around three minutes. So I was trying to calculate how much time it would take for the beginning of the match to the first time I was going to be using the barricade and it was going to be around three minutes. Now I say around three minutes, just like the other specialists, depending on how much score you're building up through a game, it's going to alter a little bit of what that time is going to be. So if you're doing really well and you're collecting a lot of points, you're going to have a shorter time span between the very beginning of the game to the next time you can use the barricade. So keep that in mind while you're playing 
playing the game and you're wanting to get that barricade out, do really well and you're going to be able to get a shorter cooldown time to be able to use that signature ability. And when it comes to points you're going to be collecting with the barricade, you have a laundry list of ways of being able to collect up a lot of points with the signature ability. The first one is microwave suppression. So this is the time, anytime an enemy player walks through your barricade and is getting hit by the microwaves, that is 25 points per step that they're taking through that. Now your microwave kill is going to be an additional 50 points. So if you have an enemy player that's walking through, you're getting that suppression points of 25 per step and then you're getting 50 points for the death. Now for barricade kill, um, anytime you kill an enemy player and you're actually hiding behind your barricade, you're gonna get 25 points added on to the kill, as well as for a barricade cover assist. So anytime a, a teammate is actually hiding behind your cover and the enemy players are shooting at him or at the cover trying to get at your team member, you're gonna get a 50 point assist for that. So not only are you getting the 25 points per you know suppression for every step that they take, but you're also getting 50 points for a team member actually getting the kill for you. So these are again just like the razor wire, a great way to build up points toward your towards your kill streaks, as well as a great way to deny entrance and being able to secure objectives throughout a game mode. Finally, for my pros and cons of Torque. Now, as a specialist, he is a very good specialist to have in any objective-based game mode, um, whether that be control, domination, hardpoint, whatever. Any way that he's able to deny entrance to an objective, he is a very good asset to have in that game mode. I mean, there's been several games when I was playing during the beta where the enemy team did not have a torque and they couldn't deny me an entrance into an objective and it was very easy to get in there, take control, kill the enemy, and, and be able to capture that objective. When I was playing torque, it was very hard for the enemy to actually come through certain points because I was able to block off one area and then put my focus on the other area. Um, so it was just very easy to be able to secure different objectives um, and his, I mean, that pro being able to deny entrance to certain areas and be able to take your focus someplace else is really good and that's why I really love Torque. Now the downside to Torque is the fact that his razor wire as well as his barricade can be taken out pretty easily by rockets. So if you have a enemy player on the other team that has rockets equipped as their secondary and they shoot at least one rocket at the razor wire, it's going to be destroyed very quickly and sometimes you'll be notified and sometimes you won't be notified that that has been destroyed and it's, it's sometimes a pisser if you're not notified that um, a certain entrance is now open to enemy players moving through it um, and that is the one thing that sucks about the rockets is you know it destroyed pretty quickly and sometimes you might not be notified now the barricade takes about two or three rockets depending on how many rounds um, by just your primary weapon that you've actually shot into it um, and I would definitely recommend if you're going up a tour uh, going up against a torque enemy player you know don't waste your round shooting at this barricade unless there's several of you guys shooting at this barricade it's gonna take several magazines to actually go through if you have a rocket you know switch to that rocket put a couple rockets in there and you're gonna be able to push through it and get through it very easily so those are my pros and cons I definitely really enjoyed playing Torque. Torque was a lot of fun to play, especially in these different objective game modes. It was just a lot of fun to be able to uh, have control a little bit over the map, have control about where I want the enemies to go. Um, that way I would be able to capture these things very quickly and uh, and be able to win the game. That's all about, you know, it, where everybody is about winning the game. You don't, play, you don't play to lose, you play to win. So Torque was a good player, a good specialist to have because... He was very good at being able to deny different entrances and be able to secure different objectives just because of his specialist ability. Well guys, that is it for Torque. Torque was a lot of fun to play in the multiplayer beta and I really look forward to playing as him again when the game is fully released in October. Now I hope this video helps you out so whenever you pick up this game and you're wanting to play as Torque and you're wanting to know a little bit more about him and being able to use him correctly and being able to build up to your score streaks since that's what we're all wanting to do, um, I really do hope this video helps you out in being able to figure out how to use Torque in an effective way and being able to get to those high score streak so again guys hope you enjoyed this video if you guys did please drop me a like let me know down in the comments below what you guys like about torque if you got to play him during the beta have a great rest of the day guys and i will see you all next time